Thursday night football uh, parlay vibe between the Vikings and the Eagles. It's in Philadelphia, and it's going to be a no-sweat same-game parlay. So what does that mean for anybody out there who wants to have a little fun and help us bounce back with you? Basically, if you opt in and bet a same-game parlay on this, what we're putting out there, and even if it loses, you get bonus bets back. So if it doesn't win, no sweat. The Kay and Rob same-game parlay is going to look a little something like this. If you put it together, Gronk, there's no... We got it. We have to win. Like, I will be so mad. What do you want to... What do you want to do what's our first leg yes okay i thought we were gonna win last week but i feel like we got even a better pick this week it's never a guarantee because it's the nfl because there's injuries and there's a lot of things that play into it but my first leg my first pick of this parlay is going to be with tj hawkinson going for over 25 yards come on he's the highest paid tight end in the league he had about 900 yards last year. Yes, he only had 35 yards last week on eight catches, which, if you ask me, is pretty embarrassing. You average under five yards per catch, and you're the highest Oof. player in the NFL at the tight end position. Like, you don't – that's not game-changing stats. That's like – eight million dollar type player like in order to be the highest paid you have to be a game changer so you better start making game changing plays or else i'm going to come back because i can at least make one game changing play a game even freaking beat up i don't care when you're the highest paid <laughs> you gotta go over 25 yards come on Kay. and no i'm not coming back we tj i mean <laughs> Gronk has issues with the entire tight end position. We're going to get into that later on in the show. I like that. That's a gimme to me. That is like, here you go, everybody. 25, that should happen. That's fine. I'm going to go with this. Justin Jefferson, 70 or more receiving yards. And that's not a lot, by the way. You just saw Mac Jones in the rain light up this defense. Like, we saw that happen. So Jefferson's coming off 150 yards in week one. Even if they keep Justin Jefferson relatively in check somehow, 70 yards is absolutely the floor for Justin Jefferson. So that's my leg. What's your next one? Yes, and then my other leg is the Vikings to cover plus eight and a half. I mean, we're all in with the Vikings, Kay, so let's go. They got to okay. cover. They lost last week to the Bucs. They're going to cover this week. Uh, I love that. And the last leg, so this is a four-leg parlay, guys. No sweat bet. If you opt in, you get bonus bets back, even if we lose, which we can't lose. Like, all of this sounds so perfect. I'm going to wrap it up here by saying Jalen Hurts, anytime touchdown. I don't care how it happens. I don't care when it happens. Let's get it done. He's the best red zone weapon, in my opinion, the league uh, has, next to Rob Gronkowski, who keeps flirting with coming back and retiring and not retiring. But I think it's Jalen right now. He punched in 13 rushing touchdowns last year. And I think we see him get one tonight. So here it is. Hawk over 25. Don't let Gronk down. Jefferson, you can get 70. Come on. Vikings cover and a Hurts anytime touchdown.